Good morning everybody! Different setting for the intro of today's vlog. I actually tried to start this vlog yesterday and it didn't work out so well for me. It was quite a busy one yesterday and it just <laughs> it didn't work out but I'm at Vix. I got here yesterday evening and Amelia is staying too and we just all had dinner together and chilled. It was so lovely. The nicest evening and the reason that we're doing this is because today we are doing our annual Vista Village trip. Some of you might remember me and Victoria did this last year with Alana. She was invited, but obviously different countries make it quite difficult. Oh my God, <laughs> my puppy face. I did not sleep well last night, just as an FYI. So if my sentences are not coherent and I'm just a little bit off, well, there's a lot of reasons for me being a little bit off. Number one, I have girl bossed too close to the sun and I have got burnt, and when I mean burnt, I mean burnt out. Yeah, struggling a lot right now. Life is busy from every angle. I feel like I spoke to you guys about this in the last vlog. I'm just a little bit overwhelmed, but I'm excited to have a really lovely day tonight. But tonight? I'm excited to have a really lovely day today with the girls. So Amelia is coming this year, and I'm so happy that she is coming with us. I think we're gonna have the best time. I love shopping with Amelia. She's one of my favourite people on the planet to shop with. So I'm very happy to have her with us. And I love how this is becoming a little pre-Christmas tradition as well. It's so nice. So I'm just going to leave my skincare to do its thing and hope my face depuffs itself. I actually just had a little cry because I found out my sister-in-law was in a car accident. <laughs> I'm laughing because I'm a psycho and I'm having a breakdown, but it's not funny. You know when something is just too, too much for you, and if I don't laugh, I'll like cry. So yeah, that was, that was the start of my morning. Trying to plan a wedding, a hen do, and doing your job, moving house, finishing off a reno. The snagging list has been so long. It's taking its toll, I can't lie. Yeah, that is where we're at. I don't wanna be a downer, but just letting you know where I'm at in life right now in case I am a little bit off. I thought I would let you know, but hopefully this vlog will be filled with a lot more joy. So let's go downstairs and get a coffee because I think everyone is awake. If you haven't seen, this is Vic's guest bedroom and bathroom and I'm just obsessed, it is stunning. I was trying to convince Amelia last night to have this room because it's my favorite. It's just literally my dream bedroom, so gorgeous. Good morning. Good morning. How are we doing? Your Christmas tree is so festive. The Red Queen is giving. I'm obsessed. Good morning, Boba. Good morning. Honestly, you guys, look at how stunning this is. This is putting mine to shame. It is unreal. But we've both got a red theme this year, which I like. These are so cute. Oh my God. I'm obsessed. So festive. And then the fire glove, but we'll ignore that. <laughs> She's ruining the vibe. <laughs> That's why I tried to hide it. <laughs> I love the bits at the top. Thank you. It's so unique. Like it's her crown. I don't know anyone else <laughs> that has like none of my other friends do like this to their tree. I saw it on the Balsam Hill website and loved it. So I was like, I'm gonna show that. Yeah, and it's so it's nice. Fun. And then you just crack her out every year and she's stunning. <laughs> Crumpets are on the go. I, this is like the tradition when we come to Vic's house. Mm. She makes us crumpets and it's so yummy. I love that we've still got snowballs here from last yeah. night. Yeah, <laughs> so good. Like, I'm so out. jealous of you guys. I didn't try the robins, but I think. Oh. The robins, were they different? Just chocolate. Oh, no, look, they've got little like, a little like melty, creamy. Oh, thing. oh my God. I'm so say, jealous. Shout out to Dairy Milk for yeah. really coming through with them. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I used to annihilate these when I worked in an office. These and dairy buttons at my desk. No, year. they've been around for they are li like limited edition oh. every year, what? and they come out at Christmas. Oh, yeah. I thought I was a Cadbury fan. Not as much as me. Where have you been? You've been too busy with the dairy milk buttons. To be fair. <laughs> But these are unreal. If you haven't tried these, you have to. Vic, hit them. us with your avocado recipe. Okay, avocado recipe. Avocado. <laughs> now, <laughs> this one isn't overly ripe, sadly, because you know it's only one in one thousand that is good. Yeah. So one avocado, virgin olive oil. Stunning. Lots of salt mm -hmm. and pep. 
Then you need some lime. Yeah. Do you put any chili in yours? I absolutely do. Yeah. Yeah, honey. Oh, wait. This is a really shit one. <laughs> Oh god, you can really hear that rain coming down. Yeah. This is gonna be fun today. Yeah, no, it just means more shops. Yeah, true. We have to, yeah. we like have to hide. We have to hide in the shops and spend more money. Dark between the shops. <laughs> Lime juice. Garlic granules. Mmm, yeah. Oh, that's great. Good. Onion. Oh, onion. onion. Okay, so it's this is how it's differing to mine. Yeah. Interesting. Onion granules. Chili flakes. Yeah, that's my girl. And then the final piece to his assault is. Coriander. Do we all like coriander? Like yeah. Yeah. yeah, perfect. We are the dream team. We all like the same things, apart from orange juice. We've just broken Victoria's heart. I know. Orange juice, guys. That'll do. Yeah, that'll do. Yeah, that'll do. You've got time in the morning to make finely chopped coriander. Mix, mix, mix. Delicious. Perfect. And then you just stick it on a crumpet. Yeah, stick it on that crumpet. Delicious. It's been a while. The sun looks like it's starting to go down. Yeah, the sun is setting right now. Our timekeeping today, not the best. Well, we all, you know, needed a lie-in. We so. did. And breakfast. Yeah. Uh, we've been very well fed. Vic is and such a feeder. Food. Oh, by the way, Amelia is not in the car. You may notice. It, <laughs> the back is empty. Amelia is in her car and she is on speaker right now <laughs> to us. Hi! <laughs> This is like a turbo that's really bad that you're like, I have to drive separately because I'm leaving separately, but I don't want to miss out on any of the girls' lives, so I'm here. <laughs> so Amelia wants to go straight home from Bisto, so she's going to leave separately to us, so she needs her car. So she's on speakerphone, in case you didn't get that over the speakerphone, because I actually don't know if you can hear her. We are finally on our way. We're gonna do some shopping, get some food, have some girl time. And then Great. dinner, dinner's a bit I'm really excited I did, about. Yeah, I just said to get, the, get some food. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's, this is Victoria's priority when we go to Vista as yeah. farm shop. It's the, her yeah. favorite. That vegan dirty burger is yeah. unreal. It is, I actually do fancy. I've got a real burger craving at the moment. I said, whenever I say cravings, people get a bit excited. I'm just a sloth and I like to eat burgers. So can we just let me have my weird food cravings? Okay, yeah. Bye. Oh my god, we're here! Oh, wait. Yay! Whee. This might take me a moment with this car. It is actually really low to the ground. You can you can hire it up a bit, and you can lower it down even more actually as well. Oh, can you? Yeah. Nice. Do you love the purple seatbelt suits? I really do. I love them too. Beautiful. But just a slight oversheen, aren't they? Yeah. Not too That's much. Stunning. Feels like it goes with your new bag. It, yes. Oh wow, it's really busy. It's Christmas. Yeah, do you know actually coming this late might be really good because a lot of people will be leaving soon. Hello, Amelia. Hi. How are you? Thank you. Oh, stunning. We're here. Stunning. Lots of it. Perfect. Hey. This this Uber is the best <laughs> Uber I've ever taken. I'm pretty schnauzy Uber. It's a very snazzy Uber. There we go. Oh my god, they have a little Ralph's coffee cart. This is the cutest thing ever. Oh my god, it's got a bear driving. Stop. I'm in love. We've arrived at Vista Village. Amelia's looking so cute in her Ralph Lauren hat as well. This is a whole Ralph Lauren moment. And we are going to start working our way along through Vista Village and uh, see what we can find. Ooh. I'm obsessed. I love this style so much. So much. Also love those up there. These are so cool. Oh my god, proud of that. Yay. I'm kind of obsessed with these. I don't know if they're going to look good on me though because I'm so short. No, what do you I, think? We and you like the same things and I love little ballet flats with like little jeans or like baggy mm. jeans with like a little ballet flat. Yeah, thing. I'm thinking like baggy jeans with a ballet flat. Could they be make you look short when I wear tight trousers with them. Yeah. Like when you wear like baggy things. Yeah. Like cute little mini skirt or something. Yeah. I feel like you'd like that. Maybe like really short shorts as well if you've got a yeah. lot of leg. Yeah. yeah. Well, maybe I should try them. I just fill up my trousers today. These have stirrups. It's not going to be giving the vibes. Oh no. I didn't think about my outfit. It's going to be horrendous. You can always find Victoria with the clothes over the accessories. She will always be here. What have you found? Oh really? 
Amazing. Oh, the trench coats. Does anyone remember my obsession with the Prada trench coat? Oh, stunning. How much is it? Should we see? Do I want to know? Where is the price? Where is the price? Oh, honestly, guys, we'll never know. We'll never know. Still 1,700. Definitely not for Sue's for a trench. So we're on the way to Max Mara, and if you watched last year's vlog, you might remember that I tried on quite a few coats last year, and I'm back again the second year on the trot and i'm ready to make a purchase so let's see if it happens for me today right you guys i'm ready i'm ready i'm pumped i'm ready let's do this okay i'm in the changing room and i have found things i have found things we've got this cardigan which is stunning stunning let's give it a go it's like an oversized teddy cardigan unreal i'm taking that i know i already know that that is for me and then we've got this teddy coat just teddy coat of my dreams but also cinches in at the waist and it's a bit shorter so it could be perfect for me let's see the price medium 954 pounds for a max mara coat okay let's see if it fits my rule is i don't take home anything that's not on the list i will share my list here of what i'm looking for and it also has to fit immaculately like we're not doing substandard just because it's discounted like it has to be phenomenal if you buy it from this stuff. the lighting in here is horrendous i'm gonna go out in a second and have a proper look but i don't know if it's a bit bulky and i'm wearing a good outfit for like a cardigan today so this is the perfect way to judge it. What do we think? What do we think? What do we think? If I open it up. Okay, let's ask the girls. This is like I'm not sure. What do you what do we think? Okay, Vic's not sure if she's loving it. It looks cozy, but it almost looks a little bit like one of those cardigans you've had for ten years and it gets a bit bobbly That's what I said about the other coat I found. This is what do we think? No? No? Okay. Coat. Let's go. You guys, this is a no, isn't it? This is a no. This is... This is not good. What do we think? It had so much potential, but it's... No. Yeah. It's not giving. Second year in a row. It was, it's great on the top half, and then... This is not... No. I'm so sad. You guys, if you have ever seen my ridiculous platform heels I wear, they have them in Bista Village right now. I'm actually tempted to see if they have my size and buy a second pair because mine are bedraggled. But if you want them, come and get them. These are a size 41 and they're right there. We have things. We have things. We have things. We have things. Are we feeling things? Yes. Uh, no way is that going to stick. Oh, no. oh, oh stop it. Stop. <laughs> it's up in Fendi for love. Boots <laughs> of my dreams are in Vista. Tee hee hee, still can't afford them, even when they're in Vista. They're still £5,000 dead from seven. Yeah, yeah, but they're stunning. Oh, it looks so festive. This is so nice. Beautiful. Good morning everybody. My goodness, it is so dark today. I actually should have vlogged yesterday, but I have to be honest, I was having a bit of a breakdown. The house stuff, is this straight? My tripod is just not, it's not giving straight vibes, oh my god. I have to be honest, I am starting to crack a little bit at the amount of stuff that I have been trying to juggle. That's annoying. Please hold. There we go. The personal life is personal lifing, my work life is work lifing, and then my house, I, trying to just like literally get this finished up this past week has been quite intense. Yeah, I don't want to talk about it. I might talk about it another time, but I don't want to talk about it right now. But the house has been the biggest stress of my life recently. Like, I would never go back through this period of my life. It's been a lot, but everything is fine, and I don't want to talk about it. So, I thought I would just catch you up on what I bought at Vista Village. Whenever I say Vista Village, I can just hear Alana in my head going, Vista Village, who takes a mick out of how I say it. <laughs> but I bought two, you can't even see the bag, they've changed the bag branding. I bought two pairs of shoes from Saint Laurent, which I am very happy with. I actually didn't realise that they're still like fully available to buy everywhere else so the saving on those has been so so good i honestly i i don't know what's happened <laughs> i don't know how this has happened but i got some great purchases from Sanron. i also thought i'd show you my new sunnies that i got i had an optician's appointment the other day and i've got new glasses 
winging their way to me which I am very excited about because they're just a little bit slimmer and more gentle on my face than my current very big Anna Delvey style Chanel frames which I got before Anna Delvey the kind of like documentary came out by the way I hope this rain isn't annoying and it's giving more ASMR than like annoying background noise this is the only clear room upstairs in my house that I have right now so this is where we're gonna chill so I got my Anna Delvey glasses before I knew Anna Delvey was a thing but now I it's all I see but I still love them however they are just quite heavy on my face I just think they're so cool there because they've got like the Chanel across the top but anyway I have some new Chanel glasses for vision winging their way to me I also am going for a contact lens appointment tomorrow which if I can take you with me for I will I just don't know how much of a turnaround we have before the vlog goes live so I might not have time to take you with me but I will take you with me in the next vlog so I'm actually mega excited and I'm one of those people that I've always wanted contacts and just been really scared about it especially because I have long nails I didn't even know if it was possible for me to be able to take them in and out but yeah I have the kind of like learning to take them in and out appointment tomorrow and if I do well then I can take them home but I also when I was in David Kula which is my opticians in Brighton I love them because they're like the only I think the only place in Brighton where you can get Chanel sunnies and Chanel glasses and I just love them I also just really like the stuff they're so nice that's what kind of converted me from my old opticians i just find it really chill in there the service is amazing they are so patient with me whilst i literally like i when i was picking my glasses the other day i swear i tried on every single pair in the whole entire store they're so so patient with me it's so nice and i got a pair of sunnies whilst i was in there because i was just very excited about the prospect of getting contacts and actually being able to wear my full collection of sunnies and actually be able to see so i picked these up which amelia actually has so i'm now on a ban of buying anything that amelia also has because otherwise we are going to morph into each other more specifically i'll morph into her but anyway i picked these i just love them they're so cool i'm not sure if they're exactly the same or a slightly different model but they look very similar i love the like vintage style and the giant cc on the side but like straight on they just really simple and really nice and i like this shape a lot it's giving my prada sunnies but slightly more timeless and they're just very winter appropriate as well i wanted a pair of black sunnies i was thinking about getting the celine like triumph in black because i love them in brown and i just thought the black would go so well in my wardrobe they also do a slightly more cat eye style at the moment however these i just felt like they were perfect and will just go so nicely in my winter wardrobe and in my summer wardrobe as well but yeah they're stunning so yeah you can get those from david clulo i am obsessed oh my god in my bag i also i got some film developed because amelia reminded me with her film camera that i still had half a film roll to develop so i got some of my film developed so when we were wedding dress shopping together the other week she took photos of me we filled up the roll i went and got all of them developed i won't show you the ones we took when we were wedding dress shopping but we have some fun ones from paris as well that also helped to fill up the film roll that's my pasta if you couldn't tell oh this one's so cute oh i love it i love just having film photos it's so nice got loads from my birthday a few years back we've got ryan on stage i think this was in wales for color clash it's just cute cute mems keep mems to show the kids if we have them oh i think i can show you some of the wedding dress ones actually because you will have seen this dress if you haven't seen the vlog from this wedding dress shop then i will link it for you but yeah there's me in the bow dress which you will have seen if you want to see this dress like clearly i will link the vlog yeah they're so cute so we've got those sorted whilst i was getting my glasses sorted sorry that's a real tangent that you didn't ask for and then oh what i'm wearing is actually a new addition to my wardrobe this week i've got this body i really wanted the skims brown body but i got this one from tala just to try it out it's not like as tight as the skims ones i really like how the skims ones don't do this because they're just so tight like this is an extra small and it's still got quite a lot of like when i move it has a lot of movement whereas the skims ones are almost like not tights material but like they are like that they've got that much like stretch and like snap back to them so you don't get any rippling but this is still nice and it was half the price yeah the reason i got it is because i've actually already made a skims order and i just felt a bit bad about making two <laughs> separate skims orders it felt like too much but yeah i will share with you the other bits that i got from skims when they arrive because i'm so excited about that but anyway sound wrong 
let me show you what I got. I will link these because they're actually still on sale if you want to pick them up. But just know that my savings on these were phenomenal. First up, I already have this shoe, but in a very different style. And this I just lost my mind over because it's a teddy flat. It's so cute. I have really wanted the Hermes Orans that are like the teddy fabric. And I just haven't been able to get my hands on them at any point. Like they are always sold out online. But I was checking all summer, could not get my hands on them. So these are unreal. I love the Saint Laurent Tribute sandals as well. Lots of you will know I have them in tan. They've definitely changed the sizing on these though compared to how they were a few years ago because these were a 37. I have my tan ones in a 38 and they fit perfectly. I then bought a 38 in a different shade. It was like a beigey colour last last year, I think, last summer. I bought them in a 38. They were massive. Like if I was walking, they'd be flying off my feet. So I definitely think you now have to go a whole size down in Saint Laurent shoes. So these are a 37 and they fit really nicely. They fit like a five. <laughs> so I got those and I thought they'd look so nice, even just with like the black trousers that I'm wearing today, but more like in the springtime or in the autumnal season, I think they'd be really nice, but they will also just look so nice with like jeans. I'm a big jeans girl me, so anything that looks good with a pair of jeans, I am here for. And anything flat is just my best friend. And I also really like the fact that they're not too chunky, like they're a very slim sandal, so I think I can get away with wearing them with more stuff. A lot of my sliders as well are quite chunky, so it's nice to have something a bit different. We have the second pair of shoes. Oh, by the way, we need to talk about the saving. Sorry, just quickly. These sandals online are like 600 pounds. 600 pounds. I got these for, where's my receipt? I got these for, I think, 153 pounds or something like that. 500 pounds off. That is wild. That is probably the best saving I've ever made at Vista Village ever, ever, ever. This pair of shoes I think was like, I think half price, but I've seen these retail for varying prices. So I'm not 100% sure, but I've seen a pair that were 1,400 pounds. I've seen a pair that was 700 pounds. Not sure where these come out at, but I got them, I think for 400 pounds. Look at this. These are unreal. Look at them. They're amazing. They're so cool. I love them. I'm gonna show you these on, even though my toes are not in great shape at the moment, but. So these are the shoes on. I'm obsessed. I don't feel like you get the full effect, like on camera and so far away, but they're so cool. These will be amazing with a little black dress or with my sparkly stuff, especially as we are having a sparkly theme night for my hen. These will be so, so good. I just love them. Vic also really wanted these, but they didn't have them in her size. And I was like, do you know what? I'll get them. You can borrow them. We can share. Let me show you these on as well. I just love like shearling, teddy bear, anything. Like <laughs> I'm obsessed. Oh my God. They're just unreal. So I can wear these in the house, out the house, literally anywhere. They're a good indoor, outdoor shoe, just like my Uggs. I love them. I think they'll just be so nice with like wide leg trousers they look so nice i think also with midi dresses as well this would be really like cute and cozy for like warmer like autumn days spring days not winter days because i don't need frostbite on my toes but yeah those are what i got from vista village absolutely zero christmas presents bought which is not what i had originally planned but there we go anyway let's get on with the day oh my god by the way this is i don't think i've showed you this is my new carpet we had this put in at the weekend on the stairs the runner finally arrived basically it took a while because we had to send it off to have this whipping i think it's called whipping put on i don't think you're going to be able to see it but it's basically got like a herringbone stitching to it which is really lovely it just makes it look very like chic and i don't know i just love it it's gorgeous it needs a bit of a hoover but anyway that is the new carpet on the stairs like i said needs a hoover but <laughs> I'm obsessed I love it so much so it matches the top it's the same carpet as at the top we just sent it off and had it like bound love it I love it so much my shrimp hello can you say hello my shrimp with a limp someone hurt her leg yesterday so she's getting a taxi everywhere from me at the moment yeah I will show you around the house by the way when it's just a little bit less chaotic like it's just so everywhere is such a mess at the moment but I'll kind of give you a little bit more of a like snoop around maybe in the new year once we 
<laughs> just like our stair area and like utility kind of space now is just still full of boxes and chaotic and everything. So I'll show you around at some point. Do you want to go see your dad? Go be a studio dog. Good morning, everybody. It is contacts day, fingers crossed. If I can get them in and out with these nails, I will finally be free of my glasses and I cannot wait. I'm always getting told off by my optician as well because I wear them like way too low on my face and apparently it doesn't really work that way. So I'm really excited to hopefully get these. Cross your fingers for me. Yeah, here we go. Hi. Hi. Morning. Hi. How are you? Once it's settled down, you will be able to see. Probably not as well as the glasses because of the nature of the lens, but better than now. Okay, okay. great. Guys, I have like actual vision. <laughs> this is wild. So basically I've been instructed to go for a five minute walk. I don't think you can really see. It was a lot. I had to have them put in by my optician and I'm really terrible with other people touching my eyes, like makeup artists touching my eyes. Not good at all, but they're in. I'm going for a five minute walk to just see what I can see, get some air on them, see how I feel. But this is honestly unreal. I'm looking, this is my view and I am actually able to see like the top of the pavilion, which I've never been able to see from here before. It is so wild seeing things you've never been able to see without your glasses on before. <laughs> it's like a whole new world. I'm also really excited to have these potentially for when I film because you might notice a lot of the time when I make videos, I can't see if you can like see me, especially when I'm doing like outfit clips where I like stand back, can't see what you can see at all. I have to go back and like play the footage. I have to do a test run. So this is gonna make my life so much easier work-wise as well. I'm so excited. A whole new world. <laughs> it also means I can wear my new sunnies. I'm so excited. Yay! Oh my God, I can see and I don't have my YSL sunnies on. This is gonna be very boring to so many of you, but this is wild for me. I've literally not had good vision since I was a kid. And I'm actually shocked that it's taken me this long to get to this point. Does it feel like I've got mascara in my eye permanently? Yes. Do I live like that most of the time anyway? Also yes. Guys, I hope no one minds eye touching. I need the peer pressure to be able to take my contacts out. They can go in, but I'm not getting them out. So we're seeing if peer pressure works. It's so close. <laughs> I it's, can see it move. It's the nails. <laughs> it's the nails. Oh no, we're gonna have to say goodbye to my nails, guys. Oh no. I don't think I can do it. The just, way you when you did it, you yeah, got yeah. right down yeah. in there. I'm never gonna be able to see that. How long are your nails? <laughs> yeah, really sure. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> That gives you an example. They probably need to be at that, that sort of length while you're learning. Yeah. Okay. It's going to be painful, but it's worth it. You've got okay. your motivation because you can see so well. Yeah. It's honestly, it's so good. I don't actually want you to take them out, but I can't sleep with them in. Obviously. I should have bought my boyfriend and then he could just learn to take them out for me. Yeah, but you can't always have him with you all the time. No, but that would be the best excuse. <laughs> Should we take that for you? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Look up. One. Oh. Round this one. Two. Done. Wow. Okay. And I'm blind again. Okay. Just waiting to pick up my glasses. Oh my god, these are, I did not see these the last time I came in. These are unreal. And my glasses in pink. Oh my god, they're so cute. I love these. Sorry, my hairband is back because we were fitting my glasses. I love these. Pink ones? Yeah, I didn't see these last time. No, we thought we'd already sold a pair, I think they came in. <sighs> I love them, they're so cute. Okay, headband back on. You guys, we are going back next week. I'm gonna have to cut down my nails. I was really naive. I was like, if Amelia can do it, I can do it. I cannot do it. So I'm cutting my nails down and we're gonna go back for round two. Guys, that ring's like mine. This one I'm obsessed with, stunning. The jewelry shops along here really get me.